Home to more than 24 million people, Shanghai is the most populated and the wealthiest city in China. But it's not all concrete skyscrapers. In the heart of Shanghai's art district, you will find 1,000 trees. I'm not joking, that's literally the name of this development. So in this video, we are talking all about it, including some controversies. Located near the banks of the Shuzhou River, 1000 Trees is a mixed-use project that incorporates 1000 trees and 250,000 plants into the architecture of the building. It was designed by Thomas Heatherwick and meant to look like a mountain covered with trees. Now Thomas Heatherwick is also the designer behind The Vessel in Hudson Yards. 1000 Trees was explicitly designed to not look like a sterile concrete building that mixed use developments often resemble, and they did not want this to just blend in with all the high rise buildings around it. Phase 1 is technically a shopping mall, but it's meant to be much more than that. Instead, the goal was to humanize architecture and blend art with functionality. So we ended up with a building that has a thousand trees placed on top of these concrete columns that go all the way through the building's structure. I think it looks pretty cool. But what about you? Leave a comment down below with your hot take on this building. The whole development is split into two phases, which are essentially two mountains, east and west, that cover a total of 100,000 square meters. The first completed phase was the West Mountain. It's a nine-story shopping center that includes shops, galleries, restaurants, and art exhibits. It was meant to be more inviting than just a shopping center, which is why there's more inclusion of nature, art, and social activity. The West Mountain opened in December 2021, after eight years of construction. Phase two, which is the East Mountain, is currently underway, and it'll be even bigger than the West Mountain. Phase two will be a 19-story mountain that looks similar to phase one, but used mainly for office space and a hotel. Phase two will likely be completed in 2023. The 1000 Trees project is based on a flexible grid, which allows for panoramic river views from its terraces so that each store has a view. From a distance, the whole building looks like a mountain with trees all over it, and it's even cooler at night when it's lit up. But if you look closer, it's dozens of cubes that look like pixels all bunched together. All the trees on top were locally sourced, with dozens of different species selected both for aesthetic purposes and also based on their longevity and durability in seasonal changes. The pillars are meant to hold the structure together and are designed to look like planters with a mini garden on top. They also have an internal watering system, which will keep the plants healthy. I'm sure I can't be the only one who was wondering, how the heck are they gonna water these trees? This project embodies creativity and a dynamic relationship between art, nature, and architecture. I mean, as the trees and plants grow, it literally will change the way this building looks, so it really evolves over time. Of course, since this project is located in Shanghai's art district, this is a very creative space. There are dozens of artists here with studios open to the public. But art isn't just in the physical form anymore. It's digital. Anyone can become a creator these days, and that's one of the biggest opportunities on social media, especially YouTube. For a lot of creators, having the best resources is crucial. When it comes to creating videos, this means 
high quality footage. One of my favorite resources I use on this channel is Envato Elements for getting video footage, graphics, and animations. You can get a membership for less than 20 bucks a month and you get unlimited access, which is way better than some platforms that cost $200 a month for sometimes only 10 downloads. If your goal is to really take your content seriously this year, it's an investment that pays for itself. Whether you're making videos for YouTube or any other platform, Trust me, I speak from personal experience. Using Envato for my YouTube videos is one of the biggest reasons I was able to grow this channel from zero to a million views in three months. If you wanna test it out, my viewers can get a seven day free trial by clicking the link in the description to get started with Envato. I highly recommend it to you and it's what my team and I personally use for all our YouTube channels. Getting back to it. The West Mountain features retail space containing 12 flagship stores, over 90 shops, and 63 outlets for food and beverage. There are a number of terrace cafes, casual food, and fine dining options. And there's an interesting food street concept here where different options for food change every few months. Now, this building is about shopping, but it's also about art. Given its location near the M50 district, the artwork here is meant to capture moments of Shanghai's past and contrast its history with modern art and culture. Both phases of 1000 Trees are located on the site of a historic flour mill and a packaging warehouse, which have both been incorporated into the development. It gives new life to the area with modern art while still respecting Shanghai's past by including the flour mill and the warehouse into the design of the project. And 16 different artists were commissioned to create pieces for the decor of 1000 trees. One of them actually includes a 40 meter high mural in the elevator shaft on the interior of the West Mountain. And on the exterior of phase one, three sides of the mountain gradually slope down like you would expect. But the southern facade is sort of sliced open to showcase street art that was done by a variety of domestic and international artists. You'll see different portraits, murals, and artwork across all different styles along the southern facade. You might have seen some other work by Heatherwick Studio in New York, like The Vessel in Hudson Yards, or another installation called Little Island, which is located on the Hudson River right along Manhattan's Meatpacking District. Little Island has the same aesthetic as 1000 Trees, except Little Island is more of a park with an amphitheater rather than a mixed-use commercial complex. Heatherwick Studio also came out with a luscious green skyscraper they unveiled in Singapore called Eden. So you can probably tell they really like combining plants with architecture. People call 1000 Trees the Green Lung, which is a funny but pretty accurate nickname for this development in Shanghai. Now, some have criticized projects like this for making it look like they benefit the environment more than they actually do, saying things like, we must do better than 1000 trees. What they mean by this is that we need to do way more than plant 1000 trees if we want to promote a more sustainable future. Sustainability was part of this project, but it was also about art and culture, so it wasn't entirely focused on environmentalism. It's more of a combination of eco-friendliness, art, and utility. Basically, putting trees on top of buildings isn't a new concept, and people have different opinions as to why we should or shouldn't do this. That's fair, but this project is also about aesthetics and utility, not just environmentalism. And while some people think 1000 trees looks futuristic and utopian. Others have called it gaudy, awkward, or just ugly. 
Shanghai has some of the best skyscrapers and coolest development projects that have been recognized globally. And this eco-inspired project brings a whole new style of architecture and modern artwork to the world of urban development. What do you think? Good? Bad? Ugly? Let us know in the comments down below. For more content on international development projects like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.